in the first weeks of January 2001. Right after I was hit by a drunk driver, I started taking nightly candlelit baths. Not only did it ease a little of the pain in my battered body, but it also gave me 59 minutes of intense meditation. I say 59 because the album I put on every time was the same. It's called Sensual Sensual by B-Tribe. An excerpt from my journal on January 10th, 2001. I just got done with one of the most intense meditations I've ever done in my life. I put on my Bee Tribe CD and lay in there, imagining, imagining, imagining my body healing itself. Every place that's injured, every place that's uncomfortable, imagining the vertebrae aligning, seeing all that space between them and the discs going back to their natural shape, plump and cushy and happy. But then, Desesperada came on. All my hair stood up on end because I kept seeing and feeling what it would be like to dance again. Envisioning all the different ways I need to be able to move again. The music would swell and I pictured myself spinning, 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 spinning. I imagined being able to lift my head to move my hips without pain, to undulate and bend, to twist and turn, to swirl my hair around again. The song crashes like surf against rocks, and I see myself exploding up in a fountain of hair, fringe and bliss. As I imagined this over and over and over for the whole rest of the album, I really started to be able to see it, and then to feel it. My pulse was racing, and I was sweating just from lying there. At the end, I was resting and breathing calmly, and all of a sudden, I could notice the tiniest, most subtle shifts in my body. P.S. In case you're wondering, how many of those dance moves I transformed from envisioning into doing? How about all of them? So many people had really wanted this party to be my big comeback. I had wanted that too, and I just wasn't ready for that. I was only just starting to be able to do moves in the torso and spine, but not for any length of time. All my hip moves were lopsided from the left side being torn apart, and I had to be so careful with everything. All I wanted that day was to dance the gratitude in my heart and to finally play with my friends, to even see my friends. I wound up crashed out under the sunshade by the end of it, but for me, that day was like sudden sunshine after seven months of storms. Funny story from those earliest couple years. I was still having a lot of trouble with my right hand, 
with balance and depth perception, with doing more than one thing at a time, and with messing up right and left, front and back. In double veil, you need to know which hand is taking the front veil and which one is taking the back in order to do that groovy move where you peel them apart during a spin. Like this. Voila! For a couple years there, I kept messing that up every time. I usually just whipped the veils apart because I could not do two different things with my hands at the same time. The night I danced to Desesperada from my favorite B-Tribe album, you can see the moment where I realize I can't find my right hand and the veil it's so obviously holding. I mean, I'm staring right at it. If you know me well, you can just watch me bail and go, noop, 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 noop. At that point, you just gotta do something else. Fails, man. They gave me trouble for years.